Litigation Abuse. Updated. March 24th, 2022. Once someone separates from an abusive spouse partner, the abuser may try to keep power and control over the victim by misusing the court system against the victim. For example, filing repeated petitions or motions, requesting many adjournments, appealing the judge's orders without a legal basis to do so, or taking other actions that make the victim repeatedly come to court. Sometimes this type of behavior is called litigation abuse. Unfortunately, litigation abuse is challenging to deal with because it is hard to limit someone's right to file in court. If your state has a law that specifically allows for it, such as these laws in Washington, Idaho, and Tennessee, the judge might be more willing to issue an order restricting a person's right to file. If you are facing litigation abuse, you may want to try proving to the judge that the cases the abuser keeps bringing are not based on a good reason and are filed instead to harass you. Sometimes, a judge may issue an order that will help to limit the litigation abuse or its effects by ordering the party bringing the excessive motions to pay your court costs and attorney's fees, ordering the party who files meaningless motions to reimburse your lost wages and other expenses caused by having to repeatedly come to court, excusing you from appearing at court hearings or letting you appear by telephone, ordering that no motions or petitions can be filed, or that no court appearances may be scheduled without the judge's prior approval, or
whoever, under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom, willfully subjects any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured or protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States, or to different punishments, pains, or penalties, on account of such person being an alien, or by reason of his color, or race, than are prescribed for the punishment of citizens, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than one year, or both, and if bodily injury results from the acts committed in violation of this section or if such acts include the use, attempted use, or threatened use of a dangerous weapon, explosives, or fire, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than ten years, or both, and if death results from the acts committed in violation of this section or if such acts include kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap, aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to kill, shall be fined under this title, or imprisoned for any term of years or for life, or both, or may be sentenced to death. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district in the free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege secured to him by the Constitution or laws of the United States, or because of his having so exercised the same, or if two or more persons go in disguise on the highway, or on the premises of another, with intent to prevent or hinder his free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege so secured. They shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than ten years, or both, and if death results from the acts committed in violation of this section or if such acts include kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap, aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse, or an attempt to kill, they shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any term of years or for life, or both, or may be sentenced to death. One, having taken an oath before a competent tribunal, officer, or person, in any case in which a law of the United States authorizes an oath to be administered, that he will testify, declare, depose, or certify truly, or that any written testimony, declaration, deposition, or certificate by him subscribed, is true, willfully and contrary to such oath states or subscribes any material matter which he does not believe to be true, or 2. In any declaration, certificate, verification, or statement under penalty of perjury as permitted under Section 1746 of Title 28, United States Code, willfully subscribes as true any material matter which he does not believe to be true, is guilty of perjury and shall, except as otherwise expressly provided by law, be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than five years, or both. This section is applicable whether the statement or subscription is made within or without the United States.
All right, today. All right, today we're going to talk about how we can find out and how much we can find out and what it takes to get there. So first we have to decide how much do we want to find out. So let's say in this case, I want to find out at a level of seven. Okay, so I find that level on my graph and I come horizontally to my gradient line. Where it intersects with my gradient line, I'm going to come straight down to where it intersects with my fuck around line. That there is going to tell me how much I have to fuck around to find out what I need to find out. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. And also, if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. So I hope this lesson is helpful. Thank you.